Hi, it's Joya, Makeup by Monet. So I'm about to record a tutorial for this. My computer is currently broken, so this video is going to be unedited. Depending on how long it takes me, it might be two parts. And uh, yeah, so forgive me for any mistakes in advance. Um, and it's going to be probably longer than my normal videos. And like I said, probably in two parts, but... I guess it'll be fun. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Let me zoom in. Alright, so I already put a base on my eyes. Um, I used Benefits Erased Paste. It's a, I believe this might be a concealer, but obviously it's not the color of my skin, and I figured that it might work as a base. Anyway, and next I'm going to take this brown color right here in this wet n wild palette called comfort zone and I'm gonna take a flat brush like this one and I'm going to put that on my lid my lower lid I'm patting this on just to prevent some of the fallout. I really like these shadows. They're not expensive at all. It comes in a palette of eight and they're really pretty. Okay, so next I'm going to take this eyeliner right here by Urban Decay. It's our 27 Glide On pencil, and this one is in electric. And I'm going to just create kind of an outline, but this is not really a cut crease. So I'm using the pencil really more as a, a base for my eyeshadow that I'm going to use. Any pencil this color will do. And I'm taking this brush here, sparkly, <laughs> look at it, it's so pretty. Um, and this is not purple eyeshadow on the brush, it's just the tip of the brush is purple. And this is by e.l.f., I believe. I got it at Target around Christmas time. But anyways, I'm going to blend this pencil out because I don't want any harsh lines. Because like I said, this is not going to be a cut crease at all. And forgive me if the lighting keeps changing. I'm using just the natural light. So the lighting might change from time to time. Because the sun goes up and down. <clears throat> Alright, so next I'm going to take this color from a different Wet n Wild palette. This one's called Blue Had Me at Hello. Like Ivy Blue <laughs> Carter. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> and I'm going to put blend that in to this. Oh, you would have to know me to know why that's funny. But, anyway. So I'm just going to blend this up. Not all the way up to my brow bone, just blend it up. as high as you would like it to go. I'm going to stop probably about there. And I'm not taking it all the way to my inner corner, just to like right here. Alright, and I'm going to just wipe that brush off. And using the same brush, I'm going back to this um, Comfort Zone palette. And I'm using this dark brown color here at the bottom. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Blending it. And I like to check my other eye just to make sure that it's even. And I'd say it's even enough for me. 
And I'm just going to go back with the teal and just make sure that I didn't cover it up too much. Because I still want to be able to see it. But I want it really dark in this uh, corner down here. Okay, and I'm also going to touch up my lid. Because you just, you want to see each color, but you kind of want them to flow into one another. And I'm just going to keep blending. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take this brush. Uh, it's a, uh, I've used it, that's why it looks dirty. It's an e e um, Real Techniques brush by Samantha Chapman, one of the Pixie Woo sisters. She has her own brush line, which is awesome. And I'm going to take some concealer, and I'm using Max, um, this one, Select Sheer Cover Up. I'm basically going to define this line over here, because I want it to be like, More like that. And I think I took this up a little further than I wanted it, so I'm going to kind of erase it. I always take this eye up further in the other eye for some reason. I don't know why, but it's a habit. Thank God for concealer. Anyway, so I'm gonna go with my powder and just clean that up a little bit. All right. So, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, um, sh this stick, this NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil by NYX in black, and I'm going to use that as an eyeliner in my inner, um, in my waterline. And the only reason why I'm using this um, instead of a regular eyeliner is because I couldn't find my regular <laughs> eyeliner that I like to use. So, whatever. Alright, and I'm going back into this Blue Had Me At Hello palette and I'm using the black one at the bottom. It's just a matte black. And I'm going to set that stuff because it's really creamy. And you can smudge it out a little bit if you want to. But I want the outer corner to stay dark. That's my main goal for that. And I'm going back with this electric eel pencil. Or electric eel. Wow. <laughs> it's just called electric. I'm going back in with this. And I'm taking it underneath the black. Focusing it mainly on the um, on the inner corner because I want this to stay dark. So I'm going to just go over that a little bit with some more black just to make sure that this is still dark. 
like so. Going back in with my concealer, I'm just going to clean this up under here. Make sure that stays defined. And I always set my concealer because I don't want it to crease up under my eyes because that's gross. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is take this fluffy brush like this and um, well I'm gonna blend this out a little bit I don't like how the crease is so it's not blended enough for me so I'm just gonna blend that out just a tad or maybe I should have wiped the brush off first I'm going back in with that turquoise color and blending this out just a little bit All right, so I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm gonna take a nude color. This one's by Inglot. You can use any nude color that you'd like. And I'm just gonna put that underneath my brow bone just so that everything's nicely blended. No harsh lines. Basically like that. And then I'm going to take this glitter. This one is by NYX. And it's called Crystal Aqua. And I'm going to put it underneath my eye. In the inner corner. Just a touch. Not too much. like that okay so next I'm gonna feel fill in my brows with this angled brush right here and because this video is unedited um, I'm going you're just gonna be able to see it how cool is that I'm using a brown eyeshadow, by the way. And people have lots of different ways to do their brows. This is just how I choose to do mine. You can do yours however you like. I like mine dark. Dark and fake looking. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up, I tell you. Alright, so I'm going to cut this off and the next part, the second part of the video is going to be um, lashes and eyeliner. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> 